What's going on guys? Welcome to NetSec Explain. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about the six hacker types that don't actually exist and five more that do. Now, the real motivation for this video comes from a trend that's been going on for quite a while. Descriptions and names of hacker types that don't actually exist. With the current cybersecurity skills gap, there's been a number of new organizations coming out of the woodwork to try and capitalize on the demand by selling their own cybersecurity trainings. Unfortunately, they themselves don't have the necessary experience to try and cover such a topic. Yet, they try their best to educate people who are interested in the field. And this ties us directly into what I want to talk about in this video. Now, before we get started, I want to make it abundantly clear that I will be showing you some real companies, and I'm not making this video to bash on them. Instead, I want this video to educate people and arm them with the knowledge of what does and does not exist in the real world. So, let's get started. To kick things off, we're going to start at the very beginning. This is an article from the Cyberary Open blog. Cyberary Open is a user-supported blog where anybody can contribute content. This article in particular, Seven Types of Hackers You Should Know, was posted on September 9th, 2015 by someone named Grey Hat for Life. So, you know it's legit. In their article, Grey Hat tries to list and describe what they believe are the seven types of hackers that you should know about. The first is script kitties. Script kitties, they copy and use code, downloading overused software. Script kitties absolutely exist, and we'll see where they fit in later. The next three you should recognize from any basic security book. White hats, these are your ethical hackers. Black hats, these are the crackers breaking into companies to try and steal money or credit card information. And gray hats which are neither black nor white, but somewhere in between. They don't actually go over what gray hats do, which is kind of weird if you want to educate people on hacker types they should know about, but that's beside the point. See, the names white hat, black hat, and gray hat don't really describe modern hackers. White hat, black hat, and gray hat terms come from the old spaghetti western movie tropes, where the man in the black hat was the bad guy, and the man in the white hat was the good guy, much like this scene from Westworld. However, these terms are outdated by about 20 years, and the reason why is because they're too generalized and can't be used in a practical way. The next three that Grey Hat goes over are brand new, and these are Green Hats, Red Hats, and Blue Hats. Green Hats are script kitties that strive to become full-blown hackers, Red hats are hacker vigilantes targeting black hats. And blue hats are script kitties, again, that seek vengeance on those who made them angry. Now, these don't exist, they've never existed, and their descriptions don't make any sense. Personally, if I hear anybody reference any of these three as hacker types, I get a little triggered. And if I hear any professional bring these up, it immediately discredits them. Red Hat is a Linux distribution and a company. Blue Hat is a Microsoft security conference. Green Hat, I don't know where this came from. So yeah, while it's not a technically accurate article, it is the article that unintentionally started this trend of fake hacker types. See, around that time, Cyberary had a very aggressive marketing campaign, and this was one of the articles that other groups picked up and ran with. We can show this with a simple Google search. From here, this article and these hacker types spread across the internet. As groups reblogged the article, more groups took it as legitimate and reblogged it themselves, thus driving this feedback loop of misinformation. Which brings us to today. Legitimate companies are now pushing the classification of red hat, blue hat, and green hat hackers as a thing. And they're still holding on to the old, tired descriptions of white hat, black hat, and gray hat. For instance, Bridgewell Consulting, which is a real consulting company based in the UK, posted a very similar article as the one from Cyberary covering black hats, white hats, gray hats, blue hats, red hats, green hats, 
and Script Kitties. Another one is King University Online, which also posted a series of similar articles citing white hats, black hats, gray hats, blue hats, script kitties, and hacktivists. So in this case, they picked up hacktivists and dropped red and green hats. They also have a different definition of blue hats as being hired to test for bugs, and they acknowledge that the term comes from Microsoft, but it's not actually from their ID badges. It's the name of a Microsoft conference. As I said earlier, I'm not here to poke fun at these companies, but I am using them as an example of how widespread this misinformation has become. Okay, these are the six types of hackers that don't exist. So what are the ones that do? Before we do that, we need to define what we're talking about. There are many definitions for the word hacker. Personally, I define a hacker as someone who is able to take a system and force it into doing something that it wasn't originally intended to do. With this definition, hacking is neutral. It's not inherently good or bad. But in this context, we're not talking about hackers. Instead, what the earlier six hacker types were trying to discuss were external threat actors. These are people outside of your organization that are trying to break in. These are the ones that you need to defend your systems against. Labeling external threat actors is a much more detailed approach and allows us to classify threats based on their motivations, their resources, intent, capabilities, and attack methods. So let's take a look. The first group we have are casual attackers, relatively low motivation, low skill set, and varied intent, ranging from curiosity to thrill-seeking to financial or just plain destructive. They primarily target individuals or interesting targets. Script kitties in particular can consider anything interesting and target that. Casual attackers include script kitties who simply download scripts online and run them as is, spammers and scammers who tend to cast a wide net to see who will fall for their bait, Cyber stalkers who will hunt down individuals over the internet to either spy on, harass, or dox them. Doxing, if you're not familiar, means to reveal someone's identity online. And internet trolls. Many people don't believe internet trolls should be considered real threat actors, but I highly recommend watching Any Polls a Goal and Tay AI from The Internet Historian. Trolls have the ability to mob and cause physical and digital harm to people over the internet, so I would classify them as an external threat actor to be aware of. Next on the list, we have hacktivists. Hacktivists are activists who hack as their form of protest. They're highly motivated, but tend to have low skill set. They have an ideological intent and they primarily target groups and organizations that they are morally against. Then we have organized cybercrime. These are one of the elite black hats. They have high motivation, high skill set, typically financial intent, and they target individuals and companies. Organized cybercriminals include con artists who lie, cheat, and steal to get your money over the internet, Fraudsters, who don't always interact with people, but instead steal credit card numbers, bank accounts, and other identifiable information. And then bot herders, who build massive botnets to either use themselves or sell to other crime units. After organized crime, we have state-sponsored. These are the other type of elite black hats. They're also highly motivated, high skill set, and they have a state-sponsored intent. They usually target military and economies, whether that's federal governments, local governments, financial institutions, hospitals, and whatever else gives them a strategic advantage. Many state-sponsored threats are also known as APTs, or Advanced Persistent Threats. And then finally, we have security researchers. These are where many of the white hats and gray hats fit in. They're highly motivated, have a high skill set, and have a protective intent trying to break into targets to learn how to better defend them. They primarily target individual applications as opposed to whole companies. Security researchers include pen testers, ethical hackers, bug hunters, and of course, security researchers. 
So to wrap it up, the six hacker types that don't exist are white hat, black hat, gray hat, red hat, blue hat, and green hat. And the ones that do exist are better known as external threat actors, including casual attackers, hacktivists, organized cyber criminals, state-sponsored, and security researchers. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. For more information, check out the links in the description below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time.